factor the expression completely. So the first thing we see is can we take out any common terms? Is there a common monomial that is in all four terms? We look and we do not see any. Then we say, well, how many terms are there? We count them. One, two, three, four. Can we try factoring by grouping? Let's see. Let's group the first two terms together, and then let's group the back two terms together. A lot of people tell you to use parentheses. I caution against that, especially here if you have a minus sign. You can change the whole equation, whole expression without meaning to. You put parentheses where there aren't any. Can I factor anything out of these two terms underlined in green? Yes, I can factor out a 5 and I can factor out an x squared. So then I have x plus 1 left. What can I factor out of these terms underlined in purple? I can factor out a negative 8. And you could try it. If you had factored out a positive 8, you would get 5x squared times x plus 1 plus 8 times negative x minus 1. When we do this, we would like for these two terms to be the same. And if they're not, we want to try it again. So we see that both of them have x plus 1 in common. So I'm going to write down what they have in common, which is x plus 1, and I'm going to read off the rest. 5x squared minus 8. So I rewrite what they have in common, and then I read off the rest. This is my expression factored completely.